So you want to make money with SQL programming? You reach the right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by Digilink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, let's get into SQL programming and how you can make money and kind of go over the problems you guys are having first with this. And I like to cover, I got a couple of points here I wanted to kind of get started with. But before I get started, give me the reason you guys are struggling trying to make money with SQL programming below in the uh, comment section, guys. I want to get your opinion or your perspective or your experience on making money with SQL programming so that we can start dialogue here and I want to kind of um, start to help you guys specifically but what I see from my side I see two main problems guys one of them is you don't have you don't know where to focus your skills at and I see that a lot a lot of you guys can come in and just try to learn everything. That's the first problem. We want to get you focused specifically on the stuff that makes you money, that what the client need, get you off to the races, and other things that we're going to talk about later in this video. Number two, showcasing your value. Just because you have the skills don't mean a client or anybody know that you can help solve the problem, hence make money. So you got to put yourself in a position in front of the right people so that you, you can make money, guys. And I want to help you guys with that as well. So we're going to cover those two problems in detail. And like I was saying, go ahead and give me your experience below what you're struggling with. Just any details. Just go ahead and um, kind of tell me your experience and what you're struggling with to make money uh, with SQL programming. So if you guys don't take away anything from this video, what I want you to take, get your little pen and pad. What I want you to take away from this video is focus on the customer pain points when it comes to solving problems. Let's talk specifically about SQL. Customer software pain points. You need to know that from an industry perspective, ideally, but definitely for that particular client you're trying to attract so that they can start giving you money to solve your problem. And I'm gonna give you that. And you're gonna notice that the, the examples that I'm gonna give you guys, are gonna really dive into that and kind of get you guys started. So let's focus on that specifically. Um, all that being said, guys, I want to cover some of the points here, but I can't cover them all. I have links below to my seven step guide. It's gonna put you in a position so that you can start making money with SQL programming and put you in a position to win. If you already registered or signed up for my free seven step guide, go ahead and roll in the academy guy. Links are below. It's gonna help you take your SQL skills to the next level. And it's gonna put you in a, a position to win and take your career to the next level. So links below for everything below in the description box so that you guys can get started. So one of the things that you can do to actually start making money with SQL programming is reporting and alerting. A lot of you guys may say, Rod, that's not programming. Uh, how can I make money? I want to program. Well, at the end of the day, all you're really doing is creating stored procedures that handing the data over to the reporting app or the alerting app. The same thing you do for an application, a current application. You're displaying data, you're preparing data to provide to that back end process and eventually get to the front end of your application. Same thing with reporting. The only thing you got here, guys, that's gonna give you an advantage is you can do it fast and you can actually make money right away doing this. And you don't actually have to worry about modifying data, um, creating tables and all that. You're leveraging existing data that's there. But what you're doing is putting in a reporting form that's gonna be of value to them and really help 10X their uh, business and put them in a position to know more about their business and insights. Same on the alerting side, guys. Same concept, the only difference is a report is usually coming in on a timer or something like that. But when you get an alert, it happens at a specific action. Like just, just let's just say, hey, driver payroll day 
or the bank haven't had three deposit in a certain amount of time. I want to be alerted to that. That's the type of value that's going to put you in a position that you can start making money as a SQL developer. As a beginner, guys, this is something you can do with a simple select statement. Select statement, guys, going to really put you in the game and making that money that you need to do. And you don't have to necessarily know everything off at the beginning and be able to. And, and the best part about this one, guys, you can showcase this pretty easily with some of the stuff I tell you in my seven step guide on Odoo and um, presenting um, Excel spreadsheets. Um, you can do Tableau, you can do Power BI, all those tools. But again, we, we talk about that in our, uh, our guide. Number two, performance improvement, um, guys. That's a, that's a good one as well. Database performance improvement, store procedures running slow, um, slow running applications, things like that really good way to make some money doing uh, a lot of uh, SQL programming guys um, number two process autom or number three actually uh, automating processes and procedures you're gonna find that a lot of people are doing just manual data entry just to move data from one application to another that's easy pickings for you guys good money and then you can have a return on investment on that on their time your process don't take time off your process is consistent. Your process is gonna do it day in and day out. Don't complain and everything's gonna be as expected. You can, you can showcase that and you can actually uh, present that to your customer to make money um, with that guys and, and all that good stuff as well. Last but not least guys, and I'm just covering these four, um, you can do a maintenance plan. A maintenance plan can be a combination of all these three I just listed and much, much more. I can't cover all the ways you can make money with SQL, guys. These are some of just the very high level ones. Um, with a maintenance contract, it can be something as simple as a break fix. Hey, this happened, I'll fix this. Or you can do monthly to where, hey, I want to keep your database running at a certain level. I want to make sure your tables are cleaned up at a certain level. I want to make sure that if something breaks, you have a number to call and you don't have to worry about that. You just worry about uh, running your business and don't have to worry about your database performing at the highest level. This is what a monthly contract do. You get a couple of these guys, you're going to really build that, um, that uh, income that's coming in every month uh, and then you're going to put yourself in a position where if you get the same clients and you have a couple of maintenance plans, now you're getting to the money now. Now you're gonna have infrastructure set up, the database where everything's working. Yeah, you're gonna have some problems here and there, but you should be able to predict when the problem's gonna happen. Um, ask them when they do that upgrades. Ask them when they do major processes throughout the week as far as just payroll and all that. And you're gonna be able to see this through your database statistics, but these are some of the things that's gonna help you make money. And the uh, guys, these are just a few of many. And we can tailor this to your industry, your skill set, what you want to do in your city. But we can't cover them all in this video. That's why I tell you guys to go ahead and check out that seven step guide. And if you already enrolled in the seven step guide, go ahead and enroll in the academy, guys. Links to everything below. So, what's the takeaway, guys? Focus on the customer pain points. Pain points. Pain points with reporting, pain points with automation, pain points with just having to deal with stuff that, that I can't run my business. I don't want to have to worry about my database and doing all this SQL programming. That's what you are for. That's where you can make that money, guys. And that's where it's going to put you in a position to win. So like, subscribe to my, like, share, and subscribe to my content. You have any questions, comment below, guys. Share your experiences. Give me feedback on how you are doing so far on taking your career to the next level. And uh, we're going to help you with that. Like I already said, guys, I'll put a link to my seven step guide on the screen. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.